science in sport is quite crucial to be the best possible athlete an athlete can be. We use it for biomechanical uses, uh, for nutritional purposes, to get the best performance out of an athlete. So science in sport is probably the difference between like making a team to get in a gold medal or just being a, a good international standard athlete. I know a lot of people who are very have been had a decent sporting career but they've now gone through sport and at a high level in a different way. So uh, biomechanics, analysing people's performance, um, nutritionally, there's a lot of ex sports people who go into nutrition from their for previous experiences and they want to get the best out of the athletes. And obviously going into coaching. So, and a lot of top level coaches have been decent level athletes, but haven't quite made it to the top. So they have the expertise and knowledge of being a good athlete. And, and so they try to uh, um, inspire the next generation of elite athletes. So the people that have come into the GlaxoSmith and Icot stand, they're seeing how um, elite athletes, elite sports people go through the rigors of drug testing. And that may interest them to go thinking, oh, I'm interested in how drugs in sport affect performance. So this is just one area of sport where they could be interested in and maybe in 10, 15 years time, they'll be themselves be scientists uh, or go into pharmacology and find out, you know, what helps athletes perform better, what helps athletes perform better but is illegal, you know, that kind of thing. And that's just, this is just a small sector of the, the science in sport. So I've actually been to the lab in Harlow just a few weeks ago to see where all the tests that are going to be taken at Olympic Games are going to be processed. And they're looking at processing up to 6,000 tests. And that means every medalist, well, basically three quarters of the athletes that are going to be going to the Olympics will be tested in some way, shape or form. And that's quite encouraging to the athletes that are going to be forming there, hoping that this will, will be the cleanest games ever that the Olympics has ever put on. So, and that's a, that's a good base and hopefully that will go on to future Olympic Games and the standard just raises and gets higher and higher.